Four days before the 1960 Battle for the Bell, DePauw students gathered in the Union Building to watch election results on television. A campus poll had indicated Richard Nixon was the overwhelming, in fact, five to one favorite, perhaps because he had visited the campus three years before. Of course, the next day's headlines heralded the beginning of Camelot. While some celebrated and others catnapped, attention turned to another C word, Crawfordsville. Like Nixon, Wabash fans had little to celebrate. The Little Giants were 1-7 and seven on the season and gave up more than 35 points in three of their defeats. DePaul's 2-5-1 and one record was nothing to get giddy about either. But of course, records don't mean anything when this is on the line. The game turned out to be as close as the election it followed. Wabash led the entire way with halfback Jack McHenry powering the offense. And DePaul's Dave Clifford ran for 103 yards on the afternoon. It was 13-6 Wabash with four minutes to go when the home team turned the ball over. DePaul drove and with 48 seconds left, quarterback John Rubish, seen here in a photo from earlier in the season, pitched to Dan Blunt and he rambled in from four yards out. The Tigers lined up for an extra point kick, but coach Tom Mott opted to play for a win. Rubish took the snap and galloped across the goal line for a two point conversion. Moments later, Mont was on his players' shoulders, celebrating a one-point triumph. <laughs>